Welcome everyone, if you're on iOS 16, you're wondering what's up with the control center. So real quick, to activate the control center with an iPhone without the home button, you slide down from the far right hand side. On iPhones with the home button, you slide up from the bottom. The control center has not changed between uh, iOS 11 to iOS 15, uh, 16, it literally hasn't. However, if you want to learn you know how to use the control center, here is how. So first of all, you have these what you could call widgets, I guess you could say. If you long press, you'll get an expanded view where you can change the settings here, airplay mode, mobile data, etc. With some toggles such as the Wi-Fi, you can long press and you'll be brought into this pop-up view where you can quickly change the Wi-Fi network or quickly connect to a Bluetooth device as well. There's also the settings button, which will bring you to the exact area inside the settings. You also have the music player. When this is expanded, you will see the album art right here, the song, play, pause, and you can switch the device you're playing the audio to there. You have the rotation. On iPhones, you can only have portrait orientation lock, okay, or portrait rotation lock. Uh, if you turn this off, then you can rotate in a portrait and landscape, no problem. You have screen mirroring. So if you own an Apple TV, you're going to see this one show up here, as long as the network is the same, and you can mirror right there. You have the focus modes. So if you long press, you can change the focus modes here. You will also see the last focus mode you used. If you tap on the icon, that will turn on that focus mode. You have the flashlight. If you tap on it, it will turn it on. Tap on it again to turn it off. You can also long press and slide to which toggle you want. If you tap on like the, you know, the semi-transparent icon, that will turn off the torch as well. The last setting you used in the torch will be remembered. So if I use three bars, turn off the torch. When I turn it back on, it's still at three bars. You also have the brightness toggle. You can slide this up and down. You can also long press as well. You have the dark mode night shift and true tone dark mode makes you know the ui look dark night shift will give this orange tint to the screen true tone will change the color of the screen dependent on the color of the environment it just makes the viewing experience better so i do recommend you keep true tone on you have the volume slider we can slide up and down you can do this both in the regular control center or if you long press too if you have headphones such as airpods airpods max and they have different modes. You'll see those modes here as well, which you can switch between. You will also see spatial audio here as well, if you want to use that. You have the camera toggle, and you have these quick actions, right? If an app doesn't have a quick action, it'll bring you straight to the app itself, okay? Like the, uh, the calculator, all right? You have the timer here. And if you tap on the toggle, you can also open up the app directly. You also have the NFC tag reader. So if you have a tag for NFC, you can scan it. Now, you can also customize the control center by opening up settings. Then find where it says control center. When you see included controls, these are the controls you have. And if you scroll the way down, you have all of these controls right here. So accessibility shortcuts are, well, you know, accessibility features. Alarm is where you can manage the alarm. Apple TV remote allows you to Use your iPhone as a remote control for your Apple TV. Code scanner scans QR codes. Dark mode is a direct toggle to turn on or off dark mode without going through the long press here. Guided access can turn on or off guided access. Hearing, what this does is it will, if I'll turn it on, so it plays sounds if you would like to. So you can see background sounds, you can turn it on, play some rain or whatever. So if you do like that in the background, you can have that on. You have home. This is just shortcuts for home. Let's say turning on the lights, turning off the lights. Of course, you do need an appliance which supports that. Low power mode. That's a quick toggle to turn on or off the low power mode. Magnify is going to zoom in to certain content. Music recognition is going to hear the music you're playing and then use that to recognize what you know, song you're playing. Notes is where you can manage the notes. Quick note is where you can quickly take down a note, okay? Screen recording is an iOS screen recorder, so you can capture the, uh, the, the screen. Sound recognition is, well, recognizing sound. 
stopwatch is, you know, stopwatch text size is where you can change the text size. Voice memos will give you options to, you know, record audio, stuff like that. And then wallet will allow you to manage cards, etc. So there you go. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.